it's fun to say. <laughs> so anyway, um, welcome, welcome everyone. I know it takes Facebook just a little bit of time to get going. I'm sure we're on Instagram. We are on the app. Are we even on the website today? No. I no, we didn't do the website. Well, that's new. We'll get that going later. But let us know where you're from, where you're hailing from. If you're from Instagram, just say Instagram, Facebook, app. Kind of let us know because... I'd like to know what's working and what isn't the best. Um, and maybe it's just all three and we're doing good like that. <laughs> oh, he forgot something. All right. So while we're kind of waiting for people to get started, hold on just a second. Oh, I'm backing up. While we're waiting for people to get on and um, kind of get going, if you did not hear, you did not get the very late email I sent last night. Sorry, guys. I'm getting ready for festival. Um, <laughs> this is today is all about... Patty, my long armor, our long armor here in the shop, her seven tips for being a beginning long armor. So like you just got your long arm, you've set it up and now you're too scared to get going with it or you've had it for a while, it's just sitting in the room and you're too scared to get going with it, that kind of thing. Those are the people we're reaching out to. But and that happens. People will buy it. No, I hear people come there in. They come for to the years. all the time. And they're, they're like, I've got a long arm, but I really am too scared to get going with it. And that's yeah. what prompted me to want to do this because I'm getting so much feedback from that. Yeah. So Bonnie said, good morning. I'm afraid I missed it. I'm on the app. And Patricia Heron said, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Bonnie and Patricia, they're always my um, my people who get they in early. Right Sorry, guys. Yeah. We are going late every time it seems like but there's just so much going on we're expanding festival and they dropped the bomb on me that we've got four booths not three just two days ago Ooh, so wow. we are definitely going big or going home all right so what y'all see above you right now right above your little heads this is the glide subscription that i'm doing new for next mm -hmm. year so i wanted to show you kind of what you would get with this subscription and i didn't even write down the numbers of how much it would be or anything else oh, i'm so behind anyway you. it's on the website <laughs> if you can look on the website that would be great under glide mm -hmm. subscription so i'm going to show you what's coming in january so you get one blender color this is white but it's nice and white snow yeah, in January. Exactly. And you're going to get the bobbins mm -hmm. in either size M or L. This is L, but you can get either M or L in the white coordinating bobbin because not all bobbin colors come in as many yeah, colors as the cones. And then we also give you a color of the month, and it's kind of an ice blue. This one's called Cloud. So you get two king cones and the bobbin in the subscription. Do you have that price yet? I do. It's twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine per price, month. Yeah. And per month. And the normal price is thirty five dollars. This yeah. is like five free spools per year. Let's, did y'all yeah. hear that? Twenty nine ninety nine. Normal price is thirty five. So that's like getting five free spools per year. So what's the sign up fee? Uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars is the sign up fee. We start shipping in January, and this will be your first um, set that you get. So, just wanted is to tell that you about white, that. White? That's, it's not super white, it's, it's just regular white. white. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference, people. There is a difference. <laughs> All right. So, without further ado, Adieu. here we go. So, <laughs> anyway, so here, we, here, we, here we go. We go. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, yeah, I have heard those stories. People have told me, I'm, you know, I'm just so afraid. I'm so afraid. It's yeah. been sitting in my house they, like they went to festival festival like in 2016 got the best, got the best they could yeah. and got a great deal because you're going to you're going to get a good deal and then they have it set up and they just some of them don't even set it up yes yeah, like they have them still in the box mm -hmm. and they're so afraid so this so just a, just to give a little background i am not this long time quilter uh in 2018 i had a uh well 2017 i had a traumatic brain injury long story short um, I knew I needed to get something to get my mind working and I have sewed my whole life um, But I've never pieced or quilted. Mm -hmm. So I thought okay. I knew math because math is involved So I knew math was involved in that. So I thought okay if I do some quilting, you know piecing I'll, I'll, It'll help with the recovery right. and it, it actually did um, but anyway, so I started doing that and I really started loving it. It was so much, and this was in know, 2018. It is I, I addicting. I will never stop sewing. Never, uh, no, never. I will never stop sewing again. I did stop sewing. I used to make bags and I still make bags, um, but they're better. 
Um, but anyway, so then um, I was getting really frustrated because it would take, and I'm not hating anybody, but it would take so long to get them quilted. Right. And so I came across um, Trice out of Tombow, uh -huh. Honeysuckle Lane Quilting. Uh -huh. She actually had a quilting um, barn, kind of. Oh, that, that she did where people could rent yeah, them. Yeah, I know exactly so, what you're talking yeah, about. So yeah, so I learned on APQS, oh, okay. right, which was really a lot of fun. I learned how to free motion. I learned, and I would drive all the way from Montgomery, all the way, Montgomery proper, to Tombow. Um, For those that are not in the area, that's uh, about 25 miles? Yeah, yeah, about 25 miles. miles yeah. That's, well, yeah. So, so I, I forget. I think you're all local. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, um, so uh, I really learned on that, and Trice really helped me. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, it was too bad she closed down during COVID. Yeah. yeah, she had to close down. But I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? I want. I, I really liked quilting. Right. So I'm thinking, okay, what do I want? Well, somebody, uh, local quilter, she was selling. Um, an old tin Lizzie oh. with a wooden frame for fifteen hundred dollars, and I thought, I'm gonna learn how to quilt. I'm gonna learn how to quilt. They were her husband were so sweet. They literally brought it, they set it up, mm -hmm. and she was there whenever I needed anything. Mm -hmm. And that thing taught me exactly what I wanted to do. I knew that APQ for me was too expensive for the Anova, and, and right. they're great machines. I'm not yeah. knocking them, right. but they're very expensive. And I didn't want to do the handy quilter, right? You know. So what I ended up doing, um, and I did a lot of research. I ended up in 2019 buying. Uh, Cunique 21. It gave me a lot more throat. A lot of people have um, those around here. I, I yeah. love them. It gave me a lot more throat, uh, which means I could could panto and free motion up to 19, you know, 15 to 16 inches, mm -hmm. which is a lot because normally you only get like the throat is like 12 inches, maybe whatever. Yeah, even in um, sewing machines, we're looking same. for those big old throats, throats right? Right. Yeah. yeah. That's why I go with the Janome, and I, you know, the long, the bigger exactly. the better. Um, yeah. Size does matter. So anyway, uh, with that, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, I just kind of jumped good. up the rating, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so here's my big thing, and I'll tell you. Uh, it was Norma Lewis that told me it, and, and her husband were just so sweet, and she was so wonderful. So what I ended up doing with it was I actually um, donated it to a uh, quilting uh, retreat. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. because I didn't, I, and I ordered it. Mine through Grace Proper, like mm -hmm. I, they sent it. My husband set it up. I mean, he's become my 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 Mister Threaded Lines, mm -hmm. right? He has become my guy. Um, yeah, right. Yes, because <laughs> like it or not, husbands, you're involved yeah, you when mean. you don't want to be. So, anyways, my top. So I was really afraid. Okay, I was afraid. Yes, and but I wasn't so afraid that I. One of the things I did learn was it's a simple machine, an expensive simple machine, but it's a simple machine. Right, right. Okay, it's not going to, don't be afraid of it. If it breaks, guess what? You can fix it. If your tension goes off, true. guess what? You can fix it. Yeah, and All we those do things. have a guy that can come out and work yes. on your tension for you. Um, so don't, don't. You know, this is for the local people, obviously. Yeah. If you're in Minnesota, I can't help you. But, um, but, but with the local people, yeah. I do have resources if you need to get your machine going. I so. literally, on the, the Tin Lizzie, the closest guy I could find was three hours away out of getting Right. You know. Wow. Yeah, and he came. Sure. I mean, so a lot of people will come. Yeah. You're because gonna, it's, you, you know, it's a big machine. Yeah, you can't. You, you, can't. you, you You're not you moving it. it so anyway, so what do you want to, so the first thing you want to do is make sure, and it's the first tip, is... Always measure, 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 measure. Measure that backing. You yes. want five to six, six, five to six, five to six inches around it. Do not trust. Do not your customer. Sorry, guys. Do not. I, 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 because you know what? Y'all have, have these little bitty, you know, things that you're mm -hmm. measuring on, or you're using out that yeah. stretched out measuring tape or whatever. There's not always an accurate. They think they're giving you a certain size, but they're not. I lay mine on my roller, both sides. I'll lay it. I lay yours. I lay every, any quilt I get, uh -huh. backing everything. I will lay it because what happens if you don't measure and you think, oh, we're good. You get to the end after you've done it and you're like two inches short, you're pulling it all the way off all the rollers, adding it. And that's a bear. It's a bear when you start because now you, right. you're moving that that thing. That um, you're moving the whole quilted sandwich, and you're yeah. getting it through your little machine to add. Mm -hmm. It's craziness. Now there is a way to do it where you can add it on the long arm, but that's too advanced. So. All right. So let's take just a little yeah. bit of a break. What we want to do for these people that have joined us already, mm -hmm. we want to give you a twenty-five dollar gift certificate for our shop. So what you need to do, how we do this, is you. 
answer a question and share in some capacity. I know not everybody can share, but if you could tell others about us, hashtag us, whatever like that, we would really appreciate it. And the question is, if you have a long arm, tell us what your long arm is, or if you want a long arm, tell us which one you want. That's a, good one too. That's a great okay, question. Okay, we'll use yours for the second one. It's, well, it's the same question, just you went specific. Oh, okay. So do, do yourself, or do you have somebody else do it for you? So I want to see what kind of long arms people are using. Yeah. I'm really curious about that. So I am too. If people answer. I'm glad right there's a lot of handy quilters. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of handy quilters. There's a lot of, right and, and I think it becomes very, and even though we have a note, but just down the, yeah. down the road. But um, I, it just, do your research, and that has to be the number, really the number zero right. tip. That, right. yeah. Do your research. What do you want it to do? Right. You know, some people do beautiful work on a sweet 16. Right. On a real small, some people have like this huge well, setup. Well, I know, you know one of my customers, Jana um, O'Brien, she usually doesn't join us, but she has a gamel. Um, oh, so, nice. Yeah, and I'll tell so, you, that tin you know, it's all over the place. Yeah, so. it is. It's all over. So just be comfortable with that. So like I said, I love, I love my Cunique. Um, I work through Grace. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, but... Um, Wish it was, but um, uh, they are wonderful. They're a wonderful company. Like I have called them crying, yeah. going, "Is not doing this," and they have actually talked me off the ledge and said, "Did you do this? Did you?" Do? And they work me. So right. any machine you have, call them. Call the makers. Yeah, they have wonderful texts that will walk you through really? it. They I, they have taken me off the ledge, and I'm not a crier. You know, well I wasn't yeah. until I started quilting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, then you start crying. Um, so anyway, so that's number one is a measure. So measure, measure, measure. Don't trust it. When you're measuring it, lay it on the roll, the rollers and get a good measurement. You want to measure the bottom and the top. And you want at least, what I say is 10 inches. I always tell them 10 inches. So if it's 90 by 100, your top is, then your backing and your batting, you want it to be 100 by 110. That way I get at least five yeah. inches around. Yeah. So that's it. Because, so this goes to tip number two, is... On the machine, always clip it, always clip it. And how you roll that backing on is really important. When you put your backing on, you put it on two different rollers, top and bottom, right? And a lot of people, they'll, they'll however you clip it. Oh, where is our clippers? Yeah, I was wondering where the clips were, the yeah. long plastic things. Oh, sorry, right here. Yeah, okay, so oh. a lot of people will pin um, I, I should have brought my old zippers. Oh. So the way that Trice used to do it is you had to pin zippers on and then you'd zip it onto the leader cloths. Um, a lot of people will actually pin it, and that takes a lot. And also, it hurts your little puddings when you keep putting yeah, it and pinning exactly. it because you'll, you'll pin yourself. Um, some people will use these, these clips on the top and bottom. Um, I, I, obviously, I own them. Um, they're called quilt clips, but um, I, don't, I don't like them because of their formation. And I'm going to show you. When she hooks onto the table like this, there's a little lip. Do you see that lip that comes up right there? And that grabs the fabric in a weird yeah, way. Yeah, and it, 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 yeah, it covers yeah. it or whatever. For her. For Some me. people use these and love them, but for her, you can kind of see that lip where it yeah. kind of comes up. Okay. So what I do, it's called, the, it's a red rod system. And this is smaller. This is just, it, and what you do is um, it, you're able to push it. You put your, your, I'm going to spit it out. You're going to spit it out. I am. It comes in three sizes, a small, medium, and then large, right? Rods, and you get six of each. And you put it the rod in your your leader cloth, and you push it on there, and it's perfect each time. It is perfect. That way I'm not pinning. So you got to figure out how and you want to do it. And that lip on it is flat. Flat. It's not curved up. Not curved yeah. up. Yeah. Absolutely. So you got to figure out how you want to do that. Um, and I can walk people through that, whatever. Um, it, you know, if you have questions and you email her, I'll email you back. Yes, so if you have um, any questions on the show, yeah, we've got, yes, uh, we got some questions. So, this, okay. so first off, you probably want to repeat the question again. Um, I've got a couple of responses, but I'm not sure people understood that was for the $25 gift certificate. Oh, so there we go. You might want to repeat the question again. Oh, the question. Okay, for the $25 gift certificate, the question is, if you own a long arm, can you tell us what type you own? Like if you, you know, the Innova, the Gamel, the whatever, you can get Tim more Lizzie. specific, the yeah. Tim Lizzie, whatever. Um, and if you do not, but you want to buy one, which one would you get? And I guess if you don't want one and you're just paying attention, um, tell us who your favorite quilter is. 
Yeah, tell us who your favorite quilter is. There you go. That way everyone's involved. <laughs> everyone's involved. I guess I was only um, Patty speaking Roebuck. to the... Uh, <laughs> absolutely, Patty Roebuck. That's who you can write down, Patty Roebuck. <laughs> okay. So then there's questions that we can answer while people are doing this. So okay. Bonnie asked, I've heard one with a stitch regulator is the only way to go. Is it true? Yes. Do they all have stitch regulators? They do not. Some yeah. of the older ones do not have it. Yeah. Uh, what a stitch regulator does is it... It, it, it's an industrial machine. It's going quick. I yes. mean, it, can you... Think embroidery. Yes, think, think embroidery. Absolutely. Think so embroidery if you have machines. an embroidery machine, you know, you know, you the lowest you can go is 400 stitches per minute, right, on the embroidery machine. So have you it's going fast. finger in a needle? Um, yeah. I have. I, well, I It pulled, goes so quick you don't even know. I pulled very quick, so it pierced the um, nail, but it didn't go all the way through. Oh, mine went to the side and I sat there and stared at it. No, I, yeah. I pulled. It's pretty cool. But the, the tip did come with my hand because I yes. pulled so hard. So. That, <laughs> that means you're bona fide. I'm bona fide. So, but it didn't bleed or anything. No, it, it goes. hit the nail. Quick. So I, I, I went real fast. Yeah. And that's when he got me a stiletto and he said, if you ever put your fingers in there again, I will take this machine away from you. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah. Because it will. I, I mean, I've cut uh, some of the... Anyways. So, yeah, you want a stitch regulator. Because when you're when it's going so fast, right? Um, even also, if you are free motioning, you want mm -hmm. that stitch regulator. Yeah. Because I, when I was would free motion or panto, man, there were times I'm, I would like I was well, speed racing. Just call me But when I was doing <laughs> loops, I would get real long, long stitches yeah, on the loops, and when I was coming on the under coming up, I would get really real tight st yeah. stitches. So yeah. so yeah, it helps you, you know, because I would get the beat. There's some people who don't like that stitch regulator. More power to, to you. them. I exactly. bow down to you, but no, I, I like it, regulator. and I like it now too because I, I do know. use a computer program. Okay. And so which is so a stitch regulator? Yes. Look for one with that. You can do it without, but I like it. There were several that weren't sure which machine want to get one, but we have to do research. Mm -hmm. uh, next and that's one's fine. APQS. Yeah. I mean, anything new? Gamel. Mm -hmm. Janine Wolt Maker Pro 18, hunt, 18 with a Pro yeah. Stitcher. Wow. Oh, with a pro stitcher. Yeah, that's wow. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's what I've gotten so far. From nice. Most nice. Been like, and there's been one thumbs up for Kira's Quilts and more in Round Rock, Texas. Perfect. Oh, nice to know. Yeah. yeah. And good thing when you put your quilter from that area for one you're advertising to them because we kind of reach a, a large amount of people so um someone who's local may have found their long armor so that's nice yeah and there's a lot of long armors here. i mean i do i do long armor like for instance um uh beverly walling which she does great custom work right you know um and so does karen shively yeah, yeah. karen shively does great yeah. Yeah, a beautiful yeah. custom work yeah. yeah um and, and then you've got diane dylan can do it but she doesn't prefer to i'm the same way i will i will do custom <laughs> for people that i know are forgiving um so um I, I can but i'm not that that i'm working towards being really good so let's um, um let's all do the mantra again done is better than perfect that's right perfect is, is completed perfect. Yeah. yeah my my mantra is perfect is completed yeah that means exactly. it's perfect so oh, yeah. we talked about oh so sorry there was a no, she, no, no. she corrected so i was trying to read it said janine wilt mm -hmm. it it I guess autocorrected or anything. She goes, that should be Janome Quilt. So just yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, kind of went I was there. like, okay. I went there. I went there. I was I was actually gonna Google that and go, what's that? But I was gonna go with you. I kind of figured it was and Janome. Then, and then we had a jukey sit down with a table. Yes. Nice. Now and I, I think thought people about do beautiful doing that work. Just to have something, and they can have stitch regulators on them. In fact, mm. I'm probably gonna get it at um, mm. festival this year. Not to have a true long arm, but mm. to do like little table toppers or things that's you know, great for on ourselves ourself. absolutely that's yeah. that's also great when you're doing like thread painting yeah it because thread painting is a lot of fun yeah. and the the smaller ones work better, better for that like i almost bought a sweet 16 to do thread painting yeah interesting awesome. so there's so many different combinations that you can do because if you have a jukey t 210q or whatever like that you can absolutely get attachments and a stitch regulator yeah. put on it that you can you know, work with smaller projects like that. And, and, and absolutely. And now, then you've got to decide how you want to do it. Like, um, Norma Lewis, who's local, she does like free motion and she does beautiful work. 
God. It's crazy. Um, so, but there's some people that like Angela Walters, if you know big names in big quilting, names, yeah. right? And just, the, I'm not crazy good, like not even close. I'm like, like, she's here, I'm way over here. No, but what um, we're trying to do is get people over that hump of getting exactly, started. Exactly, because getting they started. see that. I saw that and I would beat myself up going, it looks I so can't simple. Do no, like Angela Walters. just because it looks, to. yeah. Just because it looks simple doesn't mean it is, but it is simple to get started and circles and everything. And if you can, if you can um, doodle, yeah, trust me, you can free motion. So anyway, right. so we've we prepared it. We now we, we're putting our we're rolling vacuum it. On. We've measured we're rolling it. We're rolling it. it. So what's your tip? Is that tip number two? This yeah, is tip. Yeah. That, so tip number two is how you roll it onto the thing. Okay. Uh, Wait, so we talked about that, didn't we? Three times. Three roll times. it one, two, three. Oh, no, we didn't talk about so that. So here's okay. the thing. So people will normally roll, like, you, they've attached it. We talked about attaching and I stopped. Yeah, so yeah, they've yeah. attached the top of the backing, attached the bottom of the backing, and now they've rolled it one time onto the back, and that's it, mm -hmm. right? But what happens if you only roll it one time? What I do is I'll roll it to the back roller, mm -hmm. and then I'll spin it up to the front roller. Mm -hmm. So that's number two. Uh -huh. And then I'll spin it back, really pushing it out to the back roller. So I've rolled it three times. Uh -huh. My backing, and it gets rid of those puckers, it gets rid of that swaying, it gets rid of, it's so nice. So that's tip number two, and also, when you've done that, also use your clips. There are yeah. clips for a reason. Don't, Three I rolls, have done that. clips. Three, Three rolls, rolls, and clips. clips. Yeah. Um, because those clips are there for a reason, and that is why your quilter needs five inches. Now, I will get some people that can't, like they'll say, I just have enough fabric for, it fits. Mm -hmm. So they will either or I will you can sew leaders on it mm -hmm. if the if, if you're if you just have you know sometimes you just have just enough fabric yeah. right so you can sew I have like extra fabric from backings and old sheets that I've right. ripped up yeah. that I sew for leaders because I just need that five inches yeah you know so that's cool so that's so for two. those of you that are here that are not long armors and you send your um, quilts out. That's the reason why they need that extra fabric. So just, mm -hmm. just so you're aware. And also because I need, I need that extra fabric on top and bottom for when for, I roll it. For your rolling. Yeah, yeah. because you, the, you, you've got a certain, it's called a safe area. So when you're setting up your, your long arm and you're setting up your, your project, you're setting up your safe area. Okay. So yeah, and that helps you with the that. safe area. Yeah. Okay, so that's one, two. Now three, four, and five, <laughs> we're gonna I jump know. into those. Yeah. The reason I'm gonna talk about is how do you quilt? Do you float? Do you um, do a partial float? Do you do a full attachment? And people are going, what is all that? So people will tell you never to float, float, float. So you've got your back on. I don't float. Um, I, do, I, I always say I float, but I do a partial float. So floating is when you've got your backing on and you just lay your batting on there and you then you lay your top on there and then you start quilting. And then you start quilting. Kind of like um, with them, if you embroider, because I'm an embroiderer and this is how I'm relating it, um, I float everything in embroidery, but I, I'm a partial floater because I do pin it. You do pin, I right? do pin, yes. So a lot of people, they confuse it and think floating, like when you say, oh, I float, they think that that's it. You're I did. doing it. Yeah, yeah you're just doing it. That's a basic float where you just look kind of, I don't like that because things pucker. You, oh my you got to stand. And you would have one, yeah. what do they call them? Eyelashes. And oh, yeah. You would get eyelashes and Everything. wear flips it's over. I don't know all the terms, but oh my Not gosh. that people can't do it. I'm sure there are people that I float and I go, great. For a mud rug. Yeah, you can. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, it's funny that you say that. So when I do people's placemats, I will float those. Yeah. Because I'm standing right over it and I and, and it's, you know, yeah. placemat so I can put my hand on it so yeah. it's not moving. Yeah. So, so yeah, you're small absolutely projects. small yeah. projects. So a, par a partial float, this is what I do. So you've got your front and back. Then what I do is I put my, my back, my batting, and I'll, I'll um, sew down the top. Mm -hmm. So my back, you know, to the top. Ah. And then I'll put my top on it. Uh -huh. And I will sew along the top. Mm -hmm. I will sew a seam right on the edge. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll, I'll make sure it's measured. And then I pin it on the bottom mm -hmm. so that as I roll it up, and then I work, and, it, and it's cool. You know, yeah. I can let it, I, I, I don't have, it, it's not moving, right? Nice. Which is nice. Yeah. And so as I roll it up, mm -hmm. as I go to different sections, mm -hmm. and quilters, you know, as you're going to different sections, I move those pins down and I keep sewing on the sides so that I know and I'm able to keep my quilt lined up when you're full when you're like doing a full um float uh -huh. 
what ends up happening is your quilt kind of moves. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it goes, it moves from side to side. So when you're trying, and this could be a, this could be a pantograph or a computer, whatever. You, and, and they're set so that they interconnect, uh -huh. right? That's right, how pantographs right. and quilting. So if you, if you're floating it and then it moves over a little bit, then this might be over too much. Right. But no. I found that's the same with embroidery. So I'm trying to relate yeah, it. No, absolutely. So when I actually hoop and put it in the hoop and squeeze everything out, mm -hmm. I found that if it's a little more dense on one part than the other, it will scooch. Oh, in. interesting. So if I'm, if I float it and kind of pin it just with stick pins around the edges, yeah. it tends to be able to move as it needs to and keeps it a little more straight without the puckering. Yeah. But I also spray it too, like the spray, oh, the I don't temporary the spray. spray. No, not on the long arm. Too much for me. Not on the long <laughs> arm, but on an embroidery. It, the I can hoop, see that. I can, little, I do little, little, I can see that with little. Because I do when I do it. mug rugs, and I do, okay, and I do use that when I do place myself. It's right. small ones I do, yeah. Right. And, yeah. and I will tell you, um, yeah, so, yeah, floating, you really want to make sure you keep it, you keep it straight. And that's what, a great quilt. I quilted that. I actually pieced it and quilted it. Yes, you did. So, yeah. And we have one kit so, left, by the way. So, mm -hmm. so tilt, tip number three was do a full float or partial float? Partial floating. Yes. Okay, so, so it's floating, partial floating, and then that's four, partial float. And then five is going to be the full attachment. So floating is tip number one. You can do it. I do it for small projects mm -hmm. where you just lay it on there and you're just kind of playing with it right there. You can put your hand on it, whatever. I, and I'm a weird quilter, too. I quilt with one hand. I don't put there both hands on there. Um, even though there's two things on there, I found that they work against. They each work other. against. I, I am I am a left and right brain person, and so they fight each other. Okay, I've got them on my shoulders, and they don't. So I I have become this person. Yeah. So and and people laugh at me because they'll see me just kind of yeah doing it. Interesting. So again, it's how you how your coordination works. My coordination doesn't work. Right. I, so basically, what we're saying is here's some tips if you're nervous, but mm -hmm. do. Try it out. Throw a project Don't on there and try it out. If it doesn't work, then you know that's not the way you need to do it. And you know what you do It's all trial those? and error. Just like when you started sewing. Oh, absolutely. Just like when you started sewing. You know what I would do with some of the first ones? What? I gave them away to like Linus quilt yeah, and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that because... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They got quilted. Yeah. You, so know? you got comments. I'm glad you're using embroidery for a comparison. I can relate to that too. Oh, oh good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Yeah, great. Because uh, I'm not an embroiderer. I want to be, but I knew I can't go down that rabbit hole. So, <laughs> it's, okay. It, it's very similar. It is. It is very but, similar. So, so, one, two, three was floating. Four is partial floating, where you hook it together, mm -hmm. right? And you, you and you pin it. And you know what pins I use? Boutonniere pins. They're not just for proms, girls. There you um, go. I didn't think about that. Because they're longer. They're longer. They're longer yeah. and sturdier. Wow. So, I use boutonniere pins. I didn't yeah. think about that. I was that. trying to put that down because I'm keeping track of the tips. But trying to spell boutonniere just not going to work for me. So I don't boutonniere. B O O T I. Boutonniere. Boutonniere. N E A R. I don't know that that's right, but I'm going to say it. B O U T E E. There's a. I think it's double T. Boutonniere. My spelling. But you know what I'm talking about? Those ones with the big gas. Absolutely. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect for it. So now tip number one, two, three, four, five is full attachment. This confuses me. Full attachment is, I have three rollers. Okay, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, high roller, my middle roller, and bottom roller. <laughs> corsage pin, sorry. Yes, corsage, yay! Corsage. Yes. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, you put the boutonniere on with the corsage pin, yay! Yeah. Okay, um, so, so, full attachment, you've got your, your, your backing attached, mm -hmm. and then you, to the top and the bottom, and then you attach your top of the quilt to the bottom and then pin it to the top. Mm -hmm. So, and then you slip your batting in between them. Yeah, in Doesn't between like them. And then you, as you, there's like so many working parts. I don't do full attachment. I can't. And some people will swear by it. Absolutely. It's, because it, I'll tell you, full attachment, you. It, it keeps it straight. Yeah. Like, I have to work mine a little bit. Not like if I was floating. Yeah. My partial float, I know I have marks on my um, leaders. Mm -hmm. And I have marks, I'll have marks down the seams of, right. like, quilts I'm doing. So, I'm really aware of that, right. that issue. Now, full attachment, it will stay right where it is. 
but it's so many pe so many working parts. I mean, because yeah. everything's rolling, and I just, you know. For some people, it works. Some people who you do embroidery, they put in the hoop every time, yep. and some people float a little bit like I do. Yep. Um, so I think it's just your style. Exactly. So um, now the other thing is um, my. T <laughs> so these are kind of these are kind of all together. My, my tip number six, because tip number seven is thread. That, that's okay. something that's yeah. right with me. Yeah. So tip number six, it's more right. Do not be afraid of your machine, okay? Yeah. Do not be afraid to thread and unthread it. Do not be afraid to change out that needle. Do not be afraid to do preventive maintenance. Do so, not be afraid. So yeah, that's my tip number six, okay, do so, not be afraid. You know, like on sewing machines, the rule of thumb is if the top is messed up, mm -hmm. it's your bobbin. If the bottom is messed up, it's your top, top. thread. Mm -hmm. Is it the same on long arms? It's, 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 it's virtually the same with it because it's, it's a simple sewing machine. Okay. So yeah. if y'all didn't know that, if you're nesting on the bottom of your embroidery machine, your sewing machine, and now I know your long arm machine, it's because your top thread yeah. is not either threaded collect correctly, you've got the wrong tension or something like yeah. that. Very rarely do you get anything. Maybe eyelashes on the top, and that's just a That is so rare. It's usually the yeah, bottom. You really want to pay attention to that bottom. Yeah. You want to, I'll tell you, every time I do a row and mm -hmm. I move it up, like when I start the row, I'll, I'll, I'll feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so make I sure have a feeling. Nested. And I can hear when something's oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the second one. Uh um, You're typing something. Yet. Do we need to get any questions or anything? No, uh, Trisha said every time you say leaders, my nephew asks if she's talking about fishing leaders. <laughs> That's pretty leaders. funny. Okay, for I know our second question. <laughs> oh, I just lost it. What were we talking about? We're, we're talking about don't be afraid. It's a simple machine to thread to change needle. While she's thinking, I'm going to tell you. Let me explain I totally to you. What I was going to ask. I, I I have a friend that long arms, and she did not change her needle for five years. She oh was afraid. Gosh. I cannot believe that that needle wasn't a nub. But anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like I have a, I, so because it is putting the needle in is different because it's, you know, it's a different yeah. type um, of needle. I actually have a um, little small uh, magnet that I put on the front. Oh, interesting. So that it points at me. Uh -huh. It's, you know, about an inch and it points at me. So when I put it in and I'm kind of screwing everything in, that stays pointed straight at me. And that way I know it's straight. Because if go. it's over, if, if it's not, so if it's not straight and it moves over, then my magnet's not looking at me. It's pointing mm, another way. Nice. Don't that's be afraid. A good tip. That's number six. But number six is just don't be afraid. Thread it and unthread it. You need to learn how to thread it. Don't be afraid because what are the things when we're sewing? Mm -hmm. And what's the first thing when something goes wrong? What do we do? We rethread. We change out the bobbin, and we and change out the needle. needle. Three yeah. things, all right? Because so, if your needle gets a burr yep. where the th the eye is, it'll mm -hmm. start breaking your thread. If mm -hmm. it gets a burr up close to the tip, it's going to catch and break your bobbin thread. Um, if it's if it breaks your thread at all, change your needle. If your Absolutely. thread breaks at all, change your needle. Um, and sometimes, I, 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 the first thing I do is I always check tension. Yeah, tension will do it too. I guess yeah. tension's more of an issue on With long, long arm, arm. Yes. and yes. sewing machines. Yeah. Sewing machines, no, much. no, I'm yeah. I'm changing everything. I yeah. have a box of needles because I got no problem paying six bucks and right. changing out those needles to make sure it does right. But on mm -hmm. my long arm, it isn't that it's more expensive. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a little bit, but. It, I, it's normally that's the very first thing I check. Check is so tension. with tension. Is that just something you learn? Yes, you learned? you learn it with your machine. But here's the funny thing. So, so we're gonna move into seven now uh -huh. with that. So, um, so six is don't be afraid. Uh, you need to know how to actually thread your machine. Don't just tie it off and run it through. I do that, but sometimes. I don't. But sometimes, but. You need to know how to thread it. You need to know how to put the bobbin in properly. You need to know how to do preventive maintenance. You want to clean it. You want to oil it. You want to know. It's easy. There are videos out there that will show you. And oh, okay. No, no, go ahead. Finish okay. your thought. I thought, I thought, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and don't be afraid to change the needle. And again, get a little, little teeny magnet. It's like, it's like this. Probably, and it, it, it really helps because if it's staring at me, like if it's straight, I know that I got my needle in right. Because right. if you have that needle over, just like so, well, you can't do it in a sewing machine because it's right. in. Yeah. But you can in a long arm, and if it's over a bit, you're just you're you're you're, you're going to break your thread constantly. Yeah. Because it's not feeding properly through that needle. So. All right. So our second gift certificate now. Oh. oh. Yeah. No, is it not time? Yes, it is. I have a written 
No, 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 I got it. I you got you, it? Oh, you got it. I love this with that in I think, because um, I forgot the original one that I was going to do, but I think the one that's more important, because this is your um, monthly uh, safety, I guess, whatever. When is the last time you cleaned your machine, be it long arm sewing machine? We're all here, we're all sewers, so we have some sort of machine. Um, when is the last time that you cleaned your machine? Last so night. Give us Sorry. an answer. and <laughs> You get a gold star. Thank you. Last night. <laughs> Now, 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 my long arm. Now, I'll, okay, this is, I, I abuse my Janome. My S7, yeah. I abuse her. My Cunique, oh, no, 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 no. I, she is my baby. <laughs> I clean her. I change out. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to change out that Janome for a Foth. Oh, I, that scares me. Foth scares me. Yeah, we're going to nope. have to. We're going to have to. We're Foth land here. We are. Uh, <laughs> so, so here, and, and I might be ready. So number seven, and this is, you're going to laugh. Know your thread. Number seven, know your thread. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, so if you ever heard, well, followed Angela Waters, uh, mm -hmm. hers was um, uh, quilting is my therapy, threads right, are my right, meds. Right, right, right. Threads yeah. are my meds, right? Yeah. So I like pretty thread. Oh, my God. I love pretty colors. And so I would grab all these I, I, Because in my genome, I treat her horrible. Yeah. I will throw anything. I'll throw cheap thread in her. I'll throw, throw expensive thread in her. As I am a horrible it, person. Whatever it takes, she's going to get it. But now, we all know our machines are pretty particular. So. They are. So what I found, it was funny. I had this, I was describing whatever's pretty. Whatever. And some would break. Some would, would like, it, it, oh, my God. I, I, King Tut. Oh, my God. The lint that comes out of King Tut. Yeah. Is it, is it expensive and pretty? Sure. But that lint, it's all cotton. So what, ended, what I ended up thinking was, I'm throwing all these, and I always bought pre-round bobbins also. Mm -hmm. um, because it's very important because I'm lazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like and it. And when you're lazy, you, you, you've mm -hmm. got to feed that. <laughs> you do, but I also like no. that it's the pre-round pre comes it's out the better. The tension is right yes. on it. Yes. Because when I would wind it myself, I, I would, my tension would inevitably get screwed up because the different sizes of the threads. Because I was just grabbing any thread, any thread. If it was pretty, I was grabbing it. And then I had this epiphany. I'm like, you know what? One, if I match my, my thread with a pre-round bobbin, mm -hmm. That might help, and if I just keep using the same thread mm -hmm. in my machine, I wouldn't have the problems. And that is exactly what I did. I went to one thread and one thread. One thread goes in, and, and we'll get to her, where I bugged her. One thread yeah. goes into my, my uh, long arm, and that is Glide. Why do I like Glide? One, so many pretty colors. I love the colors. Two, it is not cotton. Um, because it polyester. it's polyester. It's polyester. It is. Yeah. But I like the sheen. But they do have a cotton. Um, they have their Permasoft. Right. So it's... It's it's, um, it's not their biggest... It's not their no. biggest seller. And I've used it and I'm okay with it. Mm. But this polyester is not like shimmery sheen. No. It's a no. Light, light... It's a very light sheen. So it's not as sheeny as rayon no. is. This is um, this is it. I mean, this is... It's not yeah, shiny. Yeah, I can't see this, but... Yeah. It's not, this is, this sorry, is it. Gonna, you can see it here. We're going to, sorry, I don't want you close on me. I want you close on the quilting here. So you can kind of see against that gray. It's not sparkly shiny. It's just enough. It's just enough to see it. It's for strength. Mm -hmm. right, that shiny it really is. is the strength. It's a, it's a three, it's a three ply. Um, sorry, I know it was right on me. <laughs> and I, and I really, I had an epiphany. It was funny. And a couple of, like a month after that, um, when I was telling my other quilting friend, um, Belinda, just stick with Glide, man, because uh, I got her over to And she's an embroiderer, and she uses Glide, right? And All right, she's, so how oh. many months do you think she bugged me about carrying Glide? Anyone take a guess? <laughs> guess? One Six. month? Two months? I three was, months? Yeah, four enough. months? <laughs> she carries it. I carry it. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you, because I, I, I found that. And I love it. I really do. And, I, you know, I'm coming from an embroidery world, mm -hmm. not a long arm world. And I love it on my embroidery. And I have a baby lock, and my baby lock loves it, too. So I would tell you, because it's, so the, the couple of things I like about Glide is, one, that it's it's, it's not shiny. No. Um, and it's not cottony and, and dull. Right. It's it's that happy in-between. Um, the other thing is. What? Sorry. Somebody yeah. said eight months. <laughs> <laughs> eight months. <laughs> Just about. No, well, so the only place I could find Glide, because they're very particular yeah. about where they sell. Mm -hmm. um, you can't go on to PhilTech and buy it on PhilTech unless you have a license. Yes. Um, you have to be a business to buy it. Yeah. Two, they're very particular. So I mean, here's great customer service. Oh my God. Absolutely it's just like Grace them. Company. Absolutely. You know. them. So, so here's the thing about Glide, too, is it's, and not that I'm not, 
It's it's made in America. Yes. So during the pandemic, what do you think? It was easy to get. Yeah. You know. So I actually would go online. I found this great um, business online that uh, I would get my glide from. So I started bugging her. I'm like, you know, this is how much she she charges. I don't know how she does it. You're the you're the business person. See if you can do it. And I did. I bugged her and bugged her and bugged her. And um, and she also said. And you should put stickers on top of your bobbins. Yes. That would be so, so cool. cool. So I've had Glide for, what, six months now? Yep. And I just got the stickers. If y'all saw it, it's you got your Glide, glide. from Threaded Lines. So what did we do? It. You yeah. got your Glide, glide from, from Threaded, threaded Lines. lines. <laughs> Because it's hard, it's not hard to get. It's easy to get, but you have to find where to get it. And the thing about Glide is so, love them. You can get a mini cone, which um, I have mini and I have the, the monster cones, the king cones, right? Yes. These king cones will last But we'll last go back forever. in, in yeah, just we'll a minute because we want to show a few yeah. things here. Yes. Well, I do want to show. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We want to show a when couple we talk things about that here. Real, yes. real quick, there was a question that came up. I don't want to get it lost in the soda. It said, why do you use polyester thread for long arming but cotton for piecing? Okay, so again, I am starting to use my um, glide when I piece. Okay, so from mm -hmm. my my perspective, the rule of the old rule of thumb was you use the thread type of the fabric that you're using. Mm -hmm. So if you're using cotton thread, you use I mean cotton fabric, you use cotton thread. Now, polyester. The reason why they do it on long arms, from what I understand, is because it's stronger yes. and it lasts longer. Yes. So you can use it for piecing as well, and it will last a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with piecing with this thread. I think the cotton is just kind of a... Standard. It's a standard. Yeah. Um, and I still use cotton. I do too. I still Again, use like cotton I said, when I piece. Um, but if I'm looking for a color and I don't have it in cotton, I will pick it up in the polyester and throw that in there. Yeah. Now for bag making, I use the polyester because yes. of the strength. Mm -hmm. Because your bags, you're going to need them to be stronger. You're using them a lot more daily and it's going to take weight and stuff like that. So I do use the polyester. I, I, I use the glide with the bags too yeah. that I make too. Yeah. For that reason. So it doesn't matter. Like I said... When you, when you, there are some people that know thread, like yes. they know thread. I'm not that person. I know thread for my long arm and what I like, and I know glide. Um, in my machine piecing, again, I will throw anything in that Genomia 7, anything, and she'll take it. However, I'm moving towards just sticking with glide. Right. And I have been taking my um, bobbins and actually rewinding them. So on an M, I can get two and a half bobbins for my Genomia 7. Ah, you know, yeah. So because I like it, because mm -hmm. it's thinner, it looks better with the piecing. It just, it, I like it. So, so here's the other thing: um, know your machine and know what bobbin. So there are two types of bobbins that that Glide makes, and it's an L, size L, an L size, and an M. Okay, what is the difference? Yeah. If you want to open, yeah, we'll see. We'll show. You can put them right next to each other. An L is M. smaller, and yeah. an M. She has the M. The M's purple. The L is this cream. Let's get right. way close. There, we, there go. we go. See that? And also, if you look this way, that M is thicker. Yes, it is. So, and, and so you'll see, and you can tell the difference in, oop, I better make it the same. Yeah. That this is the L, this is the M, right? It's taller than the L, right? So, this, I can put an L in my machine, but... And M fits. And M is normally what you're going to see people long arm. In long arms. Yeah. Unless it maybe is an older long arm or specialized yeah. long arm. Um, but really, probably like 95% of long arms will take an M. Will take an M. And, and I love it. It's embroidery that... Yeah, the embroidery machines. Here's the other thing that I love about um, Glide is when you're putting in your bobbin, if you look... Uh, where'd it go? It's okay. Right if, you look, yeah. if you look... If you look... They have a little, one end, it looks better on here, one end has this, it looks black, it's magnetic. The other end doesn't have anything. So when I'm putting it in, I don't have to figure out counterclockwise, is it a P, is it a B, is it an L, M, N, O, P. Right. Um, 
it goes right into my bobbin. So that magnetic side gets pushed right next to my bobbin. See dark on that side, yep. light on that side. And it's not a strong magnet. Like you're, nope. you're, it's gonna mess with the in interior of your not machine. It's just enough to keep that bobbin kind of from falling out, falling, getting too loose, yeah. too wobbly. Because it, yeah, it clicks right in it clicks and then you in. clip it in. And I'll tell you, I can use an L on my machine. I don't like to. One, you go through it really quick. Um, but two, it's just too small. I can, I can feel it. Yeah. You know, because it, it's the staff. The, yeah. You know, it's 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 a smaller one. It bounces around a little bit. It, just a little bit. But so you can get two sizes. So and again, I like that. And I like that I don't have to think about how I put in my bobbin. And when you use pre-round bobbins, if you look in your bobbin case, there's this little metal um, like screen. It's not a screen screen, but it's like a little disc mm -hmm. in there. Um, you have that when you wind, wind your own bobbin because mm -hmm. that they use that with the metal cases that they give you, right? Right, they, they right, give you. right. When you're using pre-round bobbins, you take out that little screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you, it, because you've got yeah. the magnets there. Um, I will never ever wind bobbin for my um, for my Good long arm again, again ever. And plus, ever. when you're right in the middle of the project, yep. you could just pop another one. In and sometimes you're like, oh, I only need three. And I'll do this now, and I'll go, oh, yeah, I've got, you know, five. I only need three for this one, and then all of a sudden, I'm halfway through, and I'm just finishing three going, oh, my God, yeah. am I going to make it through with yeah. all the ones I have? Playing because the uh, you are. You're playing that. <laughs> it's called Bob and Chicken, people. Um, and you're playing it. you playing Bob and Chicken. It's like, mm. We so, all do on the binding, we, right? We totally do. So, 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 so the cool thing about Glide is there's so many different colors that are close that by yes. that time you can do So it. the bobbins, they don't have nearly the amount of options for colors, but um, I can I can pretty I can pretty well match yeah. the closest and, to and, it. And, 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 and actually, I'll tell you, yeah, I, and I can match it too, because I'll match it too. I'll go, but also, the cool thing, and th this would be, ex if, if, they, if you guys want me back, and I'll talk about later on what you can do, um, but the cool thing is just the colors, and they look really good. Yes. They, they really do look good, and... There are different lines. Uh, they, that not just, but they have the Affinity line, which the is Affinity, variegated. Which is the variegated, and we do carry some mm -hmm. of those, and we'll be expanding as we expand, you know, our space. Yeah, and yeah. then they also have a Luminary, um, which is a little. Bit I'm more. excited to get. Did like, you see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, you showed me I on know. that the other day, and we're totally going to get the Luminary. I'm totally going to get it. It's a little bit more expensive because what it does is it's a go in the dark. Yes. And so, so I brought in. The, I, I, I. Oh my gosh! I, I got to get it before we get next year's Halloween yeah. because I got a lot of glow yes. in the dark Halloween. And so we're going to have to have the luminary with her Halloween stuff. I'm so excited. <laughs> because sometimes you don't want to say, I would have loved to do, use a luminary on this. Yes, that would have been, been fun. fun. That would have been Because the luminary, there's different colors of the luminary that they have. But they had a white, and I did a white on this quilt because I just got yeah, it. And she took it home. And so I took it and then quilted it overnight and brought it and back. And it really does. And it glows in, in the, the dark. dark. It's fun. It's, it's so, so cool. much fun. So that would have been fun. All right. All right. So, so this... So, this quilt, we're going to sell a little bit. There's only one more kit for this. Yes. That's it. So if you like this one, this is the only one that was made. This is our special kind of curation. So if you like this, you might want to grab it because we're going to festival, and I tell you, it'll be gone Wednesday night. Oh, promise, absolutely. Promise, promise. Gone Wednesday night. Yeah. So, okay. Now, do you want so, to look at colors and we'll look at that? No, let's go ahead and do it now, and then we'll... Do you want you to sure? do it that it's other up way? To you. No, we can carry it back. We'll there. carry it back there and we'll, we'll do it. it we'll, there. we'll do it together. Here. You okay. do that. So All we've right. got some things. Turn it off. Yeah, last time it went back on real quick, didn't it? When if I turned it back on real quick, yep. mm -hmm. is it back on? You're gonna lose it and then come back up. Did it come back on? Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay, we're going to walk back to the shop. Are you coming with us, Daryl? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn it around because, sorry, when I was taking it off the thing, um, off the rack, it, I, I accidentally pressed it. It's so tender that way. I'm hoping that it just came back up in the same spot. But if not, well, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you. All right, so we're walking over to the thread. Patty is picking out her favorites oh god oh my god okay 
So, so yes. Oh here we God. go. So, 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 so when you're when you're when you're using thread, so it depends on what you want to do with that quilt. Like I will look at a quilt. Sometimes you wanna you you wanna hide the thread because the piecing is so beautiful, mm -hmm. right? And so you've got your neutrals, right? Um, some of the best neutrals out there, honestly, are uh, bone. I love bone, um, right? Because you've got white and super white, and that's cool. But bone is just a nice kind of grayish white. Yeah. And it it it, it if, if you don't want too much to go in there. And I think Daryl, you have that one up, right? Okay. Yeah. It's, there you Bone go. Bone is beautiful. And just so you do see, mm -hmm. do I have the super white as well? I don't know that you have super white. You have white. Super I have white. white. I, think, I think over in the over small. Over in the small. Let's so we'll show you right the, difference the difference between. Here's white and super white. Yeah, it's, it's almost got like a um, grayish tint to it a little oh, bit. Purplish. You can, t you can see super white really well. White, super white. And let's put the bone up here just so they can kind of see the difference. Yeah, so here. Let's turn it so they yeah. can see it. So bone, white, super white. I always, when I need a white, I always go to bone. I just do. It looks different mm -hmm. on the outside of the quilt than it would for like piecing or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So when we start talking about neutrals also, some of the neutrals you want to use are like these khakis and lemon ice. All yeah. Right? Let, believe it or not, lemon ice is a great neutral. Yes. Okay. It, it doesn't kill. It, it, it's this, right? Yep. Yeah, it's lemon ice or khaki. These are great neutrals when you've got something that's in the in the browns or the the, the um, even the red, white, and blues. I use them a lot for the veteran quilts. I do. Yeah, for um, the khaki yeah, for the red, white, and blues because on the blue it almost looks like a um, just a light, almost blendy white. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. Because when you have as your as your quilts as the the colors get darker on your piecing, these. They, they, they get so off. bright, just like black and white, right? Yeah. You're going to see that white. So that's why you kind of move over to these lemon ice and... Um, but especially if you're doing black with other colors, yes. you don't have to use a black thread. Now, where's my latte and my pearl? Ta -ta -ta -ta. The other um, the other ones for... Th for um, latte, latte, choco latte. No. See, this cracks me up. So, th th so this warm gray looks brown to me. I do like a warm gray, but... Also, I like, let me see if it's over here. I love. Here's the pearl. Okay. I love pearl. Here's the pearl right and here. And I love latte. Those are great kind of brownish blenders. Right. Right? I thought we had it the other day, but you I think did. we lost it. Oh, it's find. right here. Yep. Okay. I'm going to pull yep. this down. Yeah, pull the, it down well, I'll pull the pearl up because yeah. it's harder to see the pearl. Yeah. So there's those two. Those are great blenders. This is blenders. pearl they're, and this is latte. They're not too bright. Yeah. You know, um, they are not bright at all. Which so, is really, really nice. Which is really nice. Now, when we start talking about blenders in the silver, mm -hmm. in the grays, mm -hmm. okay, my favorite blenders, believe it or not, this is called warm gray. Okay. I'm trying not to go too fast. Mm -hmm. That warm is a gray. warm gray. And it is nice. really nice because it has a brown tint. I also like, where's my Mercury? Mercury's over here. We're going to get mm -hmm. it in the cones, but they lost it in the mail. Don't even get me started. Okay, so that's the Mercury. This is the Mercury right uh -huh. here. I love it because it's a blue-gray. Yes, and I it is. It's so gorgeous. And I put it with so many different things. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's on three of our quilts that we have it, it here. It is. It yeah. is. I've, I've used it. And I like, as a dark gray, I like titanium. Titanium. Yes, I this really is very popular titanium. at shows. People get the titanium. Mm -hmm. Anchor's it's nice. Anchor's pretty close. But I like titanium. Yeah. Titanium makes me happy. I don't know why. But so see, here's really all nice the here. kind of neutrals in the top part here and then starts the rainbow here. We've got lots of these mini cones. Yes. Sorry, we're going to come so around to this yeah. side. And again, this is where you start getting into these dark colors. And then here's the, the bright nice colors. Color. This foam is really nice. That so can we'll be a good in. one if you've got like a green. Uh -huh. I've actually used that and I've used celery. Yeah. Where's celery? It's up here. Right here. This yeah. one. Celery. I put that on a Christmas now, one. Now, let's see perfect. some embroidery with Glide. Yeah. Oh let's see some embroidery with Glide. Because we have gotten, we have done some embroidery work. So, are you changing this one? She's putting it on. Okay. Look, this is the new Tula embroidery. This is Dear John on this beautiful quilted jacket. Turn around. Let's see the front. And we've got some of Parisville on the piping. Yep, on the piping. Yep, like that. And these are actually old antique buttons. Nice. Yeah. So this jacket is for sale. 
by the way. It's an extra large. It's an extra large, and it fits really nice. It's not real tight up on the waist. It's more on the hips. And it's low on the hips, too, because a lot of us women... Like yep. But what I wanted to show you is this was done with glide thread. The embroidery is gorgeous. So here's something else. Sold 111, by the way, if you want to sell it. Oh, sold 111 if you would like that one. All right. Now, this one we just, I decided to do. These are my different, I sell, obviously sell jackets. This is a different style that I have with hoods. It's a more slouchy kind of style, it's, it's which is old. gorgeous. And it's we did some embroidery on this too, right? Embroidery on this, so it's got buttons. The Tula. I don't know what flower she calls it. Flowers. I don't, we don't know the name of it, but it, it was from the um, Tula embroidery file. And this there is, we go. This is an old, sorry, this is an old mode of fabric. That's all right. Um, but yeah, I love it. Now, we also, I wanted to see it, me and my friend Belinda... We wanted to see how it would look on a jacket. Now, this jacket, it says it's an extra large. Remember, it's cropped. When you see it, it is meant to be cropped. And right. Cropped, not cropped here. Cropped Cropped here. way up on the... So um, like a large now. Yeah, so, this is more like, like a large. I can barely get this thing on. Right? It's cropped. But look, so at, look at this embroidery. Oh, my goodness. On the back of a denim jacket. That's the beast, with right? The on the top. And all of this is done with glide thread. Mm -hmm. One of a kind jacket. One of a kind jacket. So, so, and the reason I brought these is to show that Glide is just, I mean, when you start getting into these colors, I mean, it's just, it, it makes me happy. And that's why I carry the small spools mm -hmm. because in embroidery, we don't need a big cone unless it's something we're using frequently. And I'll tell you, in quilting, uh -huh. like quilting, like a normal like lap, um, a, between a lap and a twin, I can probably get about four quilts out of one small. Right. We have a question? Yeah, so is there, maybe see the inside of the jacket to see the stabilizer left on? Does that mean anything? Yes, that does mean something to me. Okay. Um, so the stabilizer is, here, is not left on. I kind of cut the stabilizer out if you want to see that. That's on the G, the denim jacket. And then so I took the stabilizer off. And they just cut very closely mm -hmm. on the stabilizer. If you can see, uh, here's my finger. Very close, right there. Yeah, very close. I show you the arms, but no, I guess no. It's kind of is it so. kind of hard to get to? Because I'll tell you, we didn't use stabilizer on the arm, as it was so small. Mm -hmm. So I will show you that. If you notice, there's no stabilizer. I stopped to cut those off. Yeah. No stabilizer was used for that. Did you use the wash away or anything? No, no just nothing. Because the quilted the, the quilt, quilt had enough thicker, yeah. stabilizer mm -hmm. for that. For, okay. for something small. That's okay. Small. The larger ones, yes, we absolutely did use stabilizers. Somebody asked, do you sell patterns for your jackets? <laughs> um, so everyone has been asking me about that, and they are my patterns. Yeah. Um, so uh, I know that. Are you still too tweaky on it? I'm We're planning on doing a class probably maybe in the spring if everybody's interested, but it may not be till late summer, early fall. I'm, I'm actually thinking about actually, I got to figure out how to market the patterns. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll help you with that. Well, you guys <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> no, my, my thing is, how do I, how do, you know, how do I, I have my patterns and they're on um, butcher paper. Butcher yeah. Paper, right? So how do I get that onto something that can, uh, like you know. Sturdy, like sturdy. Yeah, kind of like well, the, yeah, like the. Know, the will, like you, you have to, it prints up. 35 pages and then well, that's like the pa actual down. patterns when you have that real light paper that you have to cut out and pin to so your fabrics I, you know, and I stuff. I find some place where I can put on there because all my patterns, it's so funny. I have them in a box and they're all butcher paper. Yeah. Um, different sizes. Now, I'm not surprised. <laughs> there is I'm not. Paper. Yeah. How, if you see any. Because wherever would you get it? It would either be that or the large brown craft paper, right? Because yeah. that's and all we can have, have access to. So do I? Yes. Can I? I'm almost not right now. I'm almost debating, almost debating on like if you were to say I'm a large or I'm a small, right. I can do that and send one and then write the pattern out. Um, so I'm debating on how I want to market it. Right? Sure. Um, also, I do also will if you have a quilt like I do old quilts. I love how old quilts. I even okay, and you'll laugh about this, Jennifer. <laughs> we put, I, we uh, I had these old blocks and not old. They were a couple years old. And so I had Donna Rowe here uh, sew them together. I was just so sick of seeing these blocks. They were orphan blocks. I was sick of seeing them. And we picked these colors, and she sewed it together, and it was just ugly. 
I it wasn't. My husband. my husband never says it. She's rolling her eyes. <laughs> never says anything bad about my quilts. When he does, I know there's something wrong. He goes, that's ugly. I hated it. Put it wasn't it an ugly quilt. I, I put it aside. I wasn't even going to quilt it. And then I, I had an epiphany for my non-collar jacket. So mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Let me just quilt that one because if I ruin it, I'm not ruining an old, like, I, I when I talk old, I'm talking 1940s, 1950s, old quilts that I make. And quilt tops that I make quilt tops. Right. All right, so we have a question, and there's a customer oh, about know. to come in. Uh, yeah, no, it says, I would, I would, there's lots of love for your class and patterns, by the way. It's got uh, yeah. a lot of thumbs Thank up you. hearts and words that have been mm -hmm. love and love and love and love them. So just want to make sure it's weird. Okay. And then Cindy said, I love the jacket I got from you. Cindy Martinez. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, 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 they're like a hug. They yeah. are. They are. So, 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 um, uh. Somebody's open door coming in. So, oh, it's, uh, sorry, it's, yeah. Oh, because it said we were close, so we we'll probably need to wrap it up. Yeah. So, um, we're talking about the thread or not? Yeah, we were the embroidery oh, oh, thread. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Was, yeah. So that quilt, and I hated it. So I quilted it, and then I cut out the pattern that I had, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful. The jacket is gorgeous. Yes. It is gorgeous. Because the quilt was not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but it was gorgeous. So, like, this was a, an old quilt that I had um, that, that I had been given to me that was uh -huh. a beautiful white quilt. That I'm never going to use because I'm dark. Yeah, I'm right. White. I'm not putting white. But they, they turn out with ones. jackets really well. So, what I'm thinking about. Yes, you're yes. a Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. So, thanks for um, hanging out with us this morning and um i appreciate all the love we got for bringing patty in i wanted to do something a little different today so for let me just tell you real quick for festival if any of y'all are coming to festival we are going to be showing that butterfly quilt among some other things but if you take a picture with the butterfly quilt because why would you not want to take a picture with the butterfly quilt and you post it to social media and you hashtag us then you can get $20 off your order so be sure to come to fest if you're coming to festival be sure to stop by our booth 1158 yes Talk about the glide subscription one more time. I'll put it up. Oh, okay. Glide subscription. I don't have it in front of me, but um, just one more hint for that. So she's told you about how it can be used for embroidery and long arming and everything else and just all around good thread. So the glide subscription is for two king sizes. You'll get one neutral kind of color and then one month base color. You won't know what colors you're going to get. I showed you January's, but you won't know what color. Oh, he's so good bringing it to me. So for January, just for an example, January, you're going to get a white cone, white bobbins in either L or M, and you're going to get kind of an ice blue. And this is called cloud. So that's January's um, threads that you'll get. And that's $29.99 a month, right? right. And that's like for uh, if you stay the whole year, that's like getting five king cones for free as I'm dropping everything. Right. All right, guys. And I go see some thread. I, love I know. Some thread. It is the best. All and right, y'all. Remember, tell them. Remember, find a thread, stick to it. Find a thread, Whatever stick it to is, it. I oh, we have winners too. Oh. We're supposed to announce the winners. Yep, yeah, sorry. I am dropping everything. So I'm going to put this back up before I start dropping too many more things. I think that was there. Okay, so our winner, our first winner on winner, winner, chicken what machine did you what have machines? or your long armor or Laura whatever? McClellan Laura McClellan. Congratulations. I will text, I will message you when I get off here. You should show the bags. The last time you cleaned oh. your machines was Patricia Heron. Patricia oh, Heron. Well, Woohoo! All right, so she went to one more thing. This is what we made with a canvas panel. This is one of the bags. So these are, I think I showed y'all these um, panels, yeah. these panels before. And I wanted to show that I'm really big about, really, I'm very conscious about how I, I use things. Mm -hmm. And I thought, when I saw this, I thought, what a great bag. Absolutely. And this is a great overnight bag. So this is a great overnight. Just because it's a panel doesn't mean it has to be a quilt. Yeah. It doesn't. I use this whole thing to put together this. Let's and show this you the, the inside. Yeah. This I want to show the... you the inside. How fun is this? Yep. And it's got a zipper. So, the, and the reason I show you is because she's got some really great panels. 
And a lot of people think, oh, they have to be in a quilt. No, they do not. And even if they're in a quilt, they don't have to be what you normally think. And you don't have to use all the panels. Yeah. You just don't. All the little pieces of the panels. <laughs> but that's the only reason I want to show it, because these panels are actually a lot of fun when you think about the different things you can do with it. Yeah. Like this was three of the panels that I put together. You can't even tell. Yeah. And I quilted this. Ladies, I quilted this. And I quilted it on foam. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, the, 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 that's why it stands up. So yeah. get to quilting. Get to quilting. All right, so Mr. Threaded Lines, Patty and I, we say happy sewing. Oh, bye. bye.